Good morning guys. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> I sound so bad. Um, apologies for this. I probably won't talk much in this intro because as you can hear, I have completely lost my voice. Let me just sip on my sour worm pre while we have this convo. We had our Candyland Carnival launch at uh, the weekend that just went it's today is a monday i was getting sick up until then but i wasn't like i didn't lose my voice we did the carnival we did our first live event it was unreal it went perfect but then the day after the sunday yesterday i just had to spend the whole day in bed because this i physically feel fine like i'm still gonna do gym and i like feel like i have energy i just sound horrid and i've got the worst cough hundred percent it is my body being like slow f down georgia um but yeah i'll get into that but guys i thought i'd randomly vlog this week because tim is away on a golf week randomly in melbourne so i'm doing like this single parent thing um and it's one of our busiest nh weeks so it's going to be interesting i thought why not put a blog in there because i'm wanting to you know do a bit more just like random candid youtube uh so yeah i woke up this morning made my bed made a pre-workout it is quite early and i'm gonna do a quick week workout hopefully before ivy wakes up but i'll just have to keep checking um we'll see what happens Here's that my little monkey. Here's that my little monkey. Hello. Hey, gorgeous girl. What have you been up to? You've been playing for your teddies? This is Ivy's play area. She's got her ball pit and her baby. All her toys. So new plan, because Ivy woke up. <laughs> I think this is epitome of having a child, but um, new plan, I'm gonna give her a bottle and then I'm gonna take her with me to gym and see if she'll let me do a workout. Oh guys, um, I feel like my voice is getting a little bit better. Um, if you saw the empty house tour of our brand new house we've been living in, look at that wall. That wall used to be black and now it's white. I feel like you guys know my style and the black wall was just not doing, was just not doing. Ivy, hey, come here, keep playing. Oh my gosh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this weekend vlog and do all the things so yeah so we're doing a bit of a reno so i'll show you that too in this vlog so guys in the previous empty house tour this room the previous owners um uses as an office uh, but we have decked it out tim has decked it out cannot take credit so i'll show you guys before my workout so we've just got like an all-purpose machine that you can do like everything on free weights a bench and we'll put the yoga mats here so let's try and get in a quick workout So 
I'm really done. Come here. I'm really done. I'm really done. See? So, yeah, I'm really done. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Mm -hmm. So guys, the workout you just saw is from the Move With Us app. I'm actually doing that Busy Girl Challenge. I did it right at the start of the year, um, not at the start, but like mid-year, uh, kind of like a way to get back into gym and feel confident again after Ivy. And they just recently launched another challenge. So I thought I'd do it to kind of like keep me accountable. But I'm doing the Busy Girl Challenge, so it's like 30 minute workout. So you can't see, but it says 30 minutes. Uh, and it's just like so good to get in. You saw like very minimal equipment, even if you have a gym. Um, so yeah, I'm doing and loving that. I also go to a group fitness class close to where I work called Never Quit. And that's really good too. So I go in between um, those two. Ivy in the back, but I have to get her fed and then I'm dropping her to her Jima. Ivy's breakfast. Got some avocado on toast. Watching Paw Patrol. Mummy's breakfast. Avocado on toast. Guys, if you're wondering my opinion on infants and screens, this is it. I'm one of those mums. I just, you gotta do what you gotta do. And Ivy <laughs> can just be a bit crazy when she eats. So we find the TV helps. Um, and also it means we can keep doing our job, keep her entertained, etc. whatever, you get it? I kinda wish I was like going to the beach and tanning and stuff. It actually is a public holiday, but we have the candy launch. Like that day, excuse me. Guys, it's still like so fucking surreal that this is our house. Like I, and then, oh. It's just so surreal. These are two sun beds that are going here. What do you think guys? I am obsessed. I've really sat in them. They are so comfortable. And then show you. This is the view from the chest. All right, I'm gonna show you my outfit of the day. You can't even really see it. I might just show it in the mirror. But basically, I've got these cute cargo pants on. They're from Glassons, Glassons. This pink overshirt is from my spring collection, Pearl Pup. So it is sold out. Bag is Prada. Uh, shoes are a Comfortable. But I've had to wear them in, not like initially comfortable. Yeah, heading into the work. The reason why I've gone to work later is because our candy collection launch is 5 p.m. So I'll be at work later. That's why I did Ivy Girl this morning. And then Tim's parents are going to come back, uh, give her dinner, bath her. And then I should be home by 6, hopefully. But yeah, let's go. Guys, I'm here at the NHHQ. Ella is just doing some of my content for the launch in the back. Hey. The team's here. Hey team. <laughs> hey team, thanks for working on a public holiday. <laughs> Love you. <yes. laughs> so we're working today um, because the launch is literally happening at 5 p.m. And then we're gonna have some tequila. <laughs> so that's gonna be, <laughs> so I can't wait for that. <laughs> but I'm so hungry. <laughs> so guys, uh, there is an hour to go. Uh, me and Elliot filmed uh, my content. Honestly, I did. I forgot to actually film this, so that was good. But uh, we filmed uh, mustic protein smoothie. So delicious. Literally just in this, I think it was just half a cup of bananas, half a cup of strawberries, the mustic protein and almond milk, and that is it. I don't know, the mustic is just my favorite. I feel like it's so underrated of just how delicious it is. And it just tastes really good with oat milk. But I'm gonna just quickly check in with the team and see what they're up to 
an hour to go, crunch time. Mel and Court, what are you guys doing? We are doing a website audit. We just want to make sure everything is perfect before we launch and all the product listings are all ready to go. Amazing. Kia ora. Hello. <laughs> what um, are you doing? I am. Oh, look, it's me. Hi. <laughs> I am just going through some Pinterest pins for tonight and yep. editing a cheeky TikTok. Amazing. All the so much social content ready. Leah. Hello. I am just approving all influencer content for the launch and making sure all the codes are live. Taking off those sanitas. Yes. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Brookie girl, what are we getting up to? Hello. I'm just replying to everyone's questions in the question box we just posted on our story. Oh, amazing. Lastly, Jazzy Fizzle. I'm just designing some last minute assets for launch. They look incredible, Jazz. Oh, not long to go, guys. guys the collection's officially live. Yay. Show us the front page, Mel. <gasps> oh my God. Jazzy Fizzle. It looks amazing. Oh, it's live. Quick, get all your posts out, Kira. <laughs> Do you love your baby? Do you love your baby? Good morning, guys. So last night I got home around six after the launch and I just did Ivy Girl's bottles, had a bit of a play with her. She's so bloody cute. And then I watched some TV on to bed. I actually watched TV till 10. Cause, cause Tim's not here and he loves to go to bed early. I was like, I'm just gonna keep watching it. Like I watched the next um, episode, which I usually want. I feel like my voice is better today, which is great. Um, so today Ellie's actually coming over here. We're organizing, we're randomly organizing my wardrobe because <laughs> so funny. When we moved here, we just put my clothes everywhere. Like not in order. I was like to Ellie, I was like, can you come over and help me organize my wardrobe? Because I'm just not good at that stuff. She's going to help me. Um, we've got to film a couple of stuff for NH. We're doing a reel tonight. Um, I've got a couple of Zoom meetings, which I'll just do on my computer. And yeah, so I better get up, get Ivy a bit sorted. I probably wouldn't show you my whole day because I just realized this vlog's going to be like so long. Good morning, Bear. Hello, chicken. Good morning, Dippy. Good morning, Dippy. I'm wearing my LSKT collection. Um, this is the mocha color, and it's literally just my favorite active wear. I feel like the brown you can wear with anything, and it's just so beautiful because it's like not black but it's a dark color and just the fit and feel of these tights and everything is just oh I'm just so bloody proud of them um we actually did a restock of these because they sold out so fast these are currently online at LSKD um if you missed out but I especially love the crop tops because there's an inbuilt bra so it's got like a shelf bra um, but they're long, so you can wear them with a the pants. I'm personally not at the stage where I feel like confident wearing just a crop and tights. So I love that little extra cover, but still feel like I'm wearing a crop. And I've just put on an overshirt. So this is just t-shirt material. So it's great uh, for this time of year because it's like not too hot but when I just need something over. So I'm having a stim free this morning because I had a coffee when I got back from dropping Ivy to her grandma. So I'm gonna have two of these. About to do a gym session uh, just quickly before Ellie Girl comes over. So stim free is really good if you're someone who is caffeine sensitive or if you're like me where you've already had a coffee, you still want like a gym pump. But uh, yeah, you don't want the extra caffeine because it messes with things.
guys, Jay has just popped over. Jay, you look so sophisticated. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, Jay's actually leaving me for a whole month and going to Bali. So this is our last meeting. Swimming. She's going to be working. So. Be working, <laughs> in another location. Love. I'm so excited for you. This Thank isn't a bad uh, working from home location, is it? No, this is amazing. I'm obsessed <laughs> with this. This is like... Bali 3.0. <laughs> exactly. Gonna miss you, Jay. Miss you <laughs> And then, guys. Hello. Hello. Ellie's here. And Ellie's in here too. Um, me and Ellie are gonna film some stuff after Jay leaves. Oh, look at those horrid flowers, Ellie. Oh, <laughs> I think they look beautiful. <laughs> Meeting tings. Meeting tings. With the planes going. <laughs> going past. So loud. So guys, I've just walked down to our guest house. I also did hair and makeup because I have a girlfriend coming over this afternoon. She had a baby like similar time as me. Um, and Ivy and him haven't like played together in such a long time. So she's going to come over, which will be nice. So me and Ellie didn't actually get to the wardrobe situation. But something that I can show you is we are currently setting up our guest house. So that's a beautiful bed and a side lamp. Very exciting guest come. But my podcast manager, Jamie, who has literally worked for me for, I want to say like over two years now. She works remotely in Melbourne and she runs the Rise and Conquer podcast. Uh, she actually wants to move to Queensland. Uh, but she needs to get like a sense of the Gold Coast and where she wants to live. So she's actually going to stay with me for a month. We're also doing like a whole heap of revamping RNC and I would love for her to like be in the office with us. So she's coming to stay and she's going to stay in our guest house. I already have to get this guest house set up for my parents who will be staying with us for around five months, like over the Christmas time. So just getting it sorted and yeah, she's going to stay with us. So I'm so excited to have her and like meet her in person. That's crazy. I actually really want to show you like setting up the bed, but you guys know what Tim is like and he was so eager and he kind of wanted to do it before uh, he left just cause of the heavy lifting involved, uh, which is lovely of him, but he just like did on a rand in the afternoon and I was like, Tim, I wanted to show everyone, but anyway. So I will actually show you a set up of when we set up our queen bed at our other house and we can just pretend it's here because you'll see in the video we are using Emma sleep mattresses and the bed. So we have the exact same set up behind here, both queens, actually this is a king. Yeah, this is a king bed. Ignore me. Um, so I wanted to have a king just so like my parents are really comfortable in here. But both um, beds and actually I think all our mattresses in the new house and in the old house at Emma Sleep. So we have used Emma Sleep mattresses um, throughout this new house and our old house. They are so comfortable, so they're memory foam. And I've told you guys about how Tim has had back issues in the past, and his doctor actually said, make sure you get a mattress that is memory foam, because it's like it's really good for like posture and your sleep. Another thing I absolutely love is memory foam, like and the Emma Sleep mattresses. If Tim moves, I'm a bit of a light sleeper. If he moves in his sleep, I don't wake up because I don't feel it because there's like an isolation system where, yeah, if he moves, it's not like a spring mattress where then I move. So that's like my favorite part because he rolls and snores and he's, he does a lot in his sleep. I need him to do less, but <laughs> the uh, Emma sleep mattress just makes it so easy. I also love there's a hundred night guarantee. So you can actually like test the mattress and if you don't like it, you can return it. There's free shipping and returns and there is a 10 year guarantee. And yeah, they're so comfortable. They're so soft. And also you'll see that bed frame 
is also Emma Sleep and the one that you'll you've seen on the screen in the previous house, obviously they're the same. Um, is also Emma Sleep. So they have really cute bed bases too. So you can literally oh, and can I just say you would have seen in the time lapse the most easiest bed frame to set up ever. When me and Tim were setting up the Palm Beach house, um, we did that one and we're like, oh my God, it's so easy. It took us like five minutes. And then Tim had to put together bunk beds and it took him like four hours. And he's like, never again. But yeah, we love our Emma Sleep mattresses and especially with the cute bed bases. So I just wanted to show you guys that. And then I plan to set up the rest of the house, like the room in there um, on the weekend. So I'll probably do some like before photos after, I mean after photos, after this video, just so you can see it all like nice and set up and cute, ready for Jamie girl. So also cause Emma Sleep is sponsoring this video, I do have a code for you guys. It is 5% off, which you can use on any sales as well. So there'll be all the details in the description of how you can use that. Uh, and it's a huge saving. I'll put a discount code on the screen and you can check that out. Yeah, all our mattresses are from Emma Sleep. Cannot recommend them enough. Um, but yes, I've got to quickly uh, finish up what I was doing here. I'm actually going to clean the bathroom and then get ready for Kim. <laughs> Bodie, oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's like, what are you doing? Gentle. Hmm? <laughs> Ivy, ah, get ah. bones. Get him. Oh, look. Look. Baby girl, enjoying her food. And Ivy girl just chillaxing. Oh my god. I'll put a bloody photo here. I was getting her dinner ready. Look over. She's on the table. Oh my gosh, she's so crazy. So that's worrying because now I'm gonna have to really watch her because she never used to be able to get up there. So anyway, fun and game. She's just like developing and doing new things so much. It is time for our shower. We always shower together and then we get in our PJs and I put her down around 7 p.m. And I'm watching this new show called, I'm gonna say like something lies. It's on Disney Plus amazing it's like there's love there's sex there's lots happening i'm all about it um but yeah so i'll be doing that tonight having my mug cake just the huge but very productive day and then also through like seeing a friend in there getting to gym and doing all the things so it was really good guys i'm just gonna be so real with you i haven't cooked at all since tim left he's our resident chef of the house i just it's so hard I don't know how single parents do it. Literally, like you are superwoman, superman, because this is, she's got Uber Eats again. Um, I tried to get something healthy. I got barramundi and potato. Watching me favorite show, Ivy's down there somewhere. But seriously, super parents, if you are a single parent, because yeah, just don't have the time or energy to cook, to be very honest. Good morning, guys. Uh, it is the last day of 
solo parenting today. Tim gets back at 7 p.m. tonight. It's 10 past six, so I'm all ready to go. I'm just waiting for Ivy to wake up. Today's an early day. The rest of the days I've done a home workout, um, hopefully before she wakes up, and then she usually wakes up, and then got her a bit sorted and dropped her to uh, Tim's parents' house. But today is a little bit different. I'm going to start work a bit early, so um, I'm going to literally drop her soon and hopefully do a gym class too because I've kind of missed going to like a class setting. Home workouts are great, but yeah, I definitely miss it. Yeah, I'm basically just like already waiting for her to wake up. Oh, update though. Um, so like solo parent update. It's been fine. Like obviously having Tim's parents is extremely helpful. Um, and it's just like a bit more... Uh, it's taking up a bit more time, obviously, like, dropping her to them. They always bring her back, which is good. But, like, I'm just finding my morning routine is different. But it's fine. And I kind of, like, I love the extra time with Ivy. And at night, it's just, like, pretty chill. Because I usually do the nighttime stuff anyway. So, that's all kind of normal. We're just not getting cooked dinner. So, I just get Uber Eats. And, look, it is what it is. Obviously, this would not be sustainable long term and I would have to get like kick my butt into gear and it would be so much harder. Um, I'm definitely a bit tired just because Ivy's woken up a couple of times only around like 9 or 10 when I'm still awake but like just getting to sleep and then she'll wake up. So nothing like midnight or anything but um, just yeah, a little bit tired but I've been having great sleep sleeping by myself. I usually sleep great but actually yeah, we definitely miss Tim just for dad we missed dad and like last night had to put out the bins literally guys never done that job <laughs> tim always does that job and just like yeah those like you know tim always does the dishwasher and he does all like the household jobs so i've had to do those in saying that there's washing everywhere you know that's kind of the only thing i haven't really done but yeah i don't know i feel i feel good i did it um definitely Anyone who is solo parent, you deserve a fucking medal because I can imagine it's been like fine and easy for the first four days, but I can imagine over time, like the jobs piling up and it just being so difficult to get everything done. So holy crap. Um, yeah, you definitely need a support system. Even if you're not a solo parent, you need a support system. Um, but yeah, so that's the little update. Let's go boys. Guys, look who's home. How was your golf trip? Man, I don't know the worst life. <laughs> Tim's got what I got. Um, it was so sick. It was just yesterday though. Was it good? <clears throat> yeah, it was so good. Did you miss us? Yeah. Did you miss us heaps? I missed you lots and lots. Are you going to go away anytime soon? No, I don't want to go away. <laughs> Liar. <laughs>